Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Okay. This one is by Brewery X. It's called Citra X. It's an India Pale Ale in its single hop series and it comes in at 7% ABV. They're from Anaheim, California. It says Brewery X, we like to keep it simple. We believe if you're over thinking, you're probably under drinking. That's why we drew single hop IPA's line. This one, one hop for one beer. Don't overthink it. Enjoy. Citra hops is used. An American hop. Citra hops, American hops. Bursting with orange, lemon, lime, tangerine, and grapefruit flavored and aroma. We shall see. I've never had this before. I've never seen it before. Nothing. It was canned on 114 2021. So it's exactly one week old today. And that's what the can looks like. I do like Brewery X beers. They're awesome so far. All of them I've had. Every one of them has been awesome. And um, I'm sure this is going to be no exception to that. Um, they do make awesome beers. So uh, no other literature there. I got this at Total Wine & More. I don't know, for a few bucks for one pint. Probably four bucks or something like that. And um, let's see what we got here. Big old head. Oh, this looks good. All right, we'll set this here for now. I'll let this head calm down a little bit. Okay, so we have a huge, frothy, creamy, foamy, kind of a little bit silky head, a little bit bouncy there. And um, hang on, just keep it straight. All right. We have a crystal clear, like amber color here. Really nice, pretty much amber color, yeah. Yeah, looks pretty amberish. There we go. Looks, yeah, clear. Kind of amber color, maybe a little lighter than amber. Looks pretty darn good though. Definitely see through it. Okay. A nice donut on top here. Almost got it all in there. Good looking beer. West Coast style. Okay. West Coast action. All right. Brewery X. Citra X. All right. Okay. Big old frothy head. All right. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Oh man, we're getting like a some earthy kind of hops coming through.
we're getting some like sort of kind of not really like pine but it's like a it's like an earthy kind of a pine almost the last train home it's more like the um the, the earthy kind of spice hops are coming through more so than anything else It's just like um like a kind of a dank kind of a hop just hop oil kind of note. Doesn't really smell like fruit, doesn't really smell like pine. A little bit earthy, but it's kind of a dank kind of a wet kind of a hop smell. It smells good. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Mhm. Mm Taste follows the aroma. Definitely getting that earthy kind of hop coming through. Yep. Mm. Yeah, very good. It's got medium mouthfeel. It's got a little zest on the tongue, a little, a little tingling on the tongue there. Really nice head retention here. Some lacing on the glass. Really good tasting beer. Earthy. It's very good. I like it. Very good. It's not overly uh, earthy though. It's um, it's just right. Turn the light off there. There we go. Save the batteries. But yeah, very um, very tasty. Um, really a well constructed beer here. Uh, what's the seven percent ABV? No booziness, nothing like that. No raw alcohol notes. Very well constructed. Yeah, this uh, earthy kind of hop notes are definitely um, taking the front and center on this puppy. Pretty dank. The IBUs are, are up there. I'd say at least 60 to 70 at least. I'm getting some kind of almost like a I don't think it's my hands. Like it was almost like a sweetness coming through. Really nice head retention here. I'm trying to get the glare the glare of the light. I gotta reposition this thing. It's bugging me. Mm, maybe that's a little better. But yeah, really tasty. Not bad at all. Yum. All right, so um, we got earthy spice hops, medium mouth feel, really good malt backbone, very well constructed. Um, some kind of like danky kind of just hoppy not fruity though not piney none of that it's more like an earthy kind of hop almost um, that's so good damn that's so good yeah it's, it's kind of hard to explain but definitely on the earthy kind of hop side if you know what I mean. Anybody that knows beer a little bit might know what that means. And uh, it's pretty good. I don't think this is going to be a very long video because it's pretty simple. It's a simple beer. One hop. Single hop. And uh, yeah. It's got the dankness to it. Very good. Very good. So um, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, very well done though. Uh, if you know what Citra is supposed to be like, I, I personally don't. I mean, my experiences have been pretty similar with this, this hop, but a single hop, now I kind of get the gist of it. It's more of an earthy. I, 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 thought, I always thought Citra would be like a fruitier hop, but this one is, seems uh, more um, earthy than anything to me. But, you know, beer is subjective to anybody Everybody's got different taste buds, so this could taste totally different to somebody else. But to me, it's a, like an earthy, but it's got like a dankness to it, though. Like a, it's hard to explain. Like a, almost like a skunkiness, almost. But it's in a good way. Look at that, really well done beer, man. Look at that. 
Almost has like a funkiness to it, like a barnyardy funky. Really great mouthfeel. It's pretty tasty, man. So that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, very impressed. Um, and this is really so. That's what Citra tastes like. Okay. I'd like to get some hops and just like check them out, like the little separate baggies, so I can smell them and I really be able to hone in on some of the notes. But I'm just a drinker, not a brewer right now. And I'm doing it the way a normal person probably would, you know, that doesn't know anything about brewing, just in a consumer. It almost has like a perfumey kind of note to it, almost. Almost like a perfuminess, though, at the same time. It's weird. It's good. Maybe some floralness in there. It's just trippy because it's such a weird contrast with the earthy and the floral, and it's trippy. Almost a perfumey. Hmm. I like it though. Um, so on a scale of one to five stars, shoot, this is really good, man. I'm gonna have to say four and a half stars. It's that good. For a single hop beer, it's tasty. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here, but it's just really hard to um, kind of explain it. But it's pretty complex for a single hop. Uh, there's a, That one hop has a lot going on, let me tell you. This is an awesome beer. So four and a half stars it is. That's my story. I'm going to stick with that. And uh, I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please uh, like and subscribe to it, my channel. That'd be really cool. I'd appreciate it. And uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out my videos. And have an awesome evening, and we'll see you soon. Later.